Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you are having a, a good show. Thanks for attending this session. So my name is Yvon Gourdou. I will present this session with uh, Anaïs Galigani, who will do the part just after me. Um, today, the subject of this session is to speak about the M24SR, which is a short-range uh, dynamic NFC tag. So I will explain you more about the part uh, on how we can use it. And Anaïs will explain more technically how we can implement it. Okay. So let's start on this part. Sorry. So who knows what is NFC here? Two, three, four, five. Who doesn't know? So the others are in the middle. <laughs> um, so the, the NFC is a near field communication. It is on most of the mobile phones nowadays. Um, the, and uh, it used the former technology of RFID. And uh, there is, uh, it's based on the 13.56 megahertz uh, technology and uh, we have about 500 million NFC phones worldwide which are already there. There is different type of NFC device that you can find on the market. The first one is the tags, the one on the top. This means you have a connection between a device and an NFC phone on a reader. There is only this communication. There is no communication from other parts. Uh, it's what you have, for instance, in a RFID card. It's the same principle. The second one, we call it dynamic NFC tags. Dynamic NFC tags, you have, like the tag, the communication, low-cost communication with a mobile phone or reader on the left. Uh, and on the other side, you have the i square c communication which is the one with a microcontroller. This means the one with, for your application. Okay. Uh, and this is where we will focus today. Then there is other kind of device which are complete transceiver where you can transfer data through uh, relatively uh, fast mode, uh, flexible mode where the stack is usually inside of the microcontroller. Uh, we, call the, we call them NFC transceiver. This is the RX 95 chip, but we will not spend much time on this part. Inside of the NFC forum, uh, which is defining the spec of the NFC, there is five different types of tags. Um, we believe there is two main ones, which are around the ISO 15693 uh, and ISO 14443. So maybe some of you know already the M24LR, which is based on the ISO 15693. Uh, now we are releasing the M24SR, it's based on the M20, uh, ISO 14443. And this protocol is much more accepted from the beginning by the NFC forum, and it's on all mobile phones, okay? So it's not only comp uh, compatible, it's fully compliant. You can even find old NFC uh, mobile phones which are uh, communicating uh, with this kind of devices. So it's really uh, compliant. The difference between those two modes, they are the speed and the robustness. So the, the, M the ISO 14443 is faster, but the ISO 15693 is more robust. Uh, in, and more industrial, uh, for industrial application. So the concept of the device, the low-cost NFC links, based on the M24 alarm. As I explained, on one side you have the NFC, uh, and you communicate with a mobile phone. On the other side, you have the microcontroller, your application, and the connection is i square c in this case. So it gives a little very different use cases. The first one, since it's coming from the RFID world, you can do exactly the same as was done with the RFID. This means you can tune your application which embed this device after having producing it. So at the end, you want to ship it. At the last minute, you can tune it. You can tune the language or you can tune some uh, setting. I always take the example of a customer having a power supply uh, which has uh, 100 watts or 200 watts. He produces the same and at the end when he ships, he decide which one it has to be, okay? So it, you, you can make many parameters uh, in, in the, the same way through a, a reader, an industrial reader like uh, for the RFID. The second one, you have your user application. It could be a consumer application. Yeah, it's an oven. You download, uh, for instance, a recipe from the web and um, you have a special loading curve or temperature curves of your oven you want to have then you could transfer it through your apps to the device. So your device becomes 
connected with a very uh, simple low cost uh, con an NFC connection and uh, very simple to use uh, in this case. So here is the example you could load uh, the, the temperature curve of uh, I don't know, a nice crispy chicken uh, part. The last one is the Bluetooth pairing. So today if you have to connect your device to an audio device and you want to launch a stream of audio between both, you have to search, you have to enable the Bluetooth pairing mode on your phone and your device to search for it. So good name. I, I think you can do a test of how many uh, Bluetooth uh, phone there is uh, or device there is right now. And you have to find the good name and, um, and sometime enter the, the, the code as well. For this, you just approach the phone from the audio device and he knows this inside of it, there is a specific message which are called NDEF messages, predefined message from the NFC forum. And he knows it is for a Bluetooth pairing. You could have the same for a Wi-Fi pairing, for instance. You have many NDEF messages for email, SMS, uh, geolocalization, these kind of things which are embedded in the operating system. Um, so you just approach the phone and uh, you have the Bluetooth pairing which is done and it just asks you if you want to accept this Bluetooth pairing and then you launch the, the, the audio stream. We have a demo here on our booth in, in the corner just on the side. The last one, I think many of you are working with industrial uh, application and uh, another one could be the maintenance on this part. So here we have someone doing the installation of a device for instance and when you need to pair a sensor and a control board and uh, uh, or you will have uh, a metering device where you want to download the consumption curves of gas or uh, water or electricity through a mobile phone in a basic way. Even when the device is not having any power for instance because the power is coming from the NFC phone. So you could even change some parameter of the application. You have maintenance and you know this device is used in a certain way. Or you could have a user which can influence on the parameter of uh, the device to, to change uh, the behavior of the device. So on the last um, use case and marketing case, before we switch to uh, the technical one, there is uh, today many mobile phones uh, already on the market. All of them, I remind the, the message, are uh, supporting the ISO 14443, so the, the M24SR in such a case. Uh, here we have a study about how much systems are using uh, Android, how much iOS, for instance, or Windows, or Blackberry. And we have made the study for the ISO 15693, the M24SR, on which one of them are supporting uh, this part. So I let the, the words now on the more the implementation part to Anaïs. Thank you. So concerning the implementation, I guess that you all have in your application STM32, isn't it? So uh, when you decide to implement our component inside, so either in ISO 15693 or ISO 14443, you just need to connect with the I2C and add an antenna on the board. And then it will be like uh, not visible for you because uh, it will consume very few energy. And the application firmware, is, we provide uh, all the firmware for your applications. And concerning the NFC smartphone, uh, we provide also a lot of source code to help you to develop your application and it's embedded inside the NFC smartphone, so you don't need to add anything. Then concerning the, how the M24 is working, so uh, you have a Iskra Pro memory, then the digital unit that is managing between the RF and the I2C, and also the power management, um, in order to power between the VCC and the Power from RF. We have a RF disable pin that allows to uh, enable or disable the radio frequency, and also a general purpose output that allows, for example, to wake up a micro, or for example, to um, send some information concerning reading or writing. So concerning the antenna and the RF performance. So there is different type of implementation concerning the antennas. So either uh, etched antenna on the PCB, so it takes, it takes a lot of space, but you have a better read range. 
When you have metal, for example, metal applications, you can use inductor antennas. Or, for example, you can have um, off-board antennas, either with PCB or flexible antenna. We have also copper wire antennas with a lot of abilities. Um, you, you, you have the choice. Concerning the width range, so with the uh, M24LR, when there is a reader, it's approximately, because I, I won't go uh, in the Maxwell equation right now, but uh, it's around the diagonal will be, uh, the, this width range will be around the diagonal of the reader, just to give you an idea. Um, and also concerning the width range, so just to make the difference between the RFID and NFC, so in RFID, the width range can go up to 1.5 meter, but of course, with big reader, with big power, and in NFC, it's up to five centimeter because it's near free communication. Concerning the M24SR, so we have uh, tested it with a lot of different type of smartphones, and we, we have uh, we have good uh, result. We have good width range, so between two and uh, five centimeter. So um, it uh, it might suit your applications. Concerning the firmware implementation, so um, like everything is implemented in the logic, you won't add anything, so it's a very low overhead to support inside the, the protocol. All the data in the Xware Prom are managed through NF files, it's what we call NFC data exchange format files. It will bring call to actions, for example, if I put a URL or SMS or a business card inside, it will make the call to action to bring um, the, to open, for example, a page with uh, www.st.com. Um, and there will be no overhead from the micro due to polling information. Um, and concerning the firmware implementation, it will be like transparent for you because, um, be because there will be only API of I2C. In order to help you to implement our product inside your application, we provide evaluation board. So this is for you to help to uh, maybe to other person from your company to understand what is the uh, ability and the added value of our components. Uh, we provide technical documentation, schematics, uh, bones, reference antennas in order to help you to make your design in the fastest way. IBIS model, also antenna design suite. So it's uh, because uh, the antenna is very important. So in order to have a, a first idea what you should uh, do in prototype, it's very helpful. All the firmware from the MCU drivers. And we have uh, E2E communities. And we provide also the source code of our NFC Android applications. So as it's a passive component, you don't need to um, uh, RF certifications. So you don't just need to work on the antenna tuning, so it's very simple for you. Concerning the portfolio, so on the M24SR, we provide four different types of memory, either 2, 4, 16, 64 kilobytes, uh, in different types of package, SO8, SSOP, or MLP, and also wafer package. Um, so yeah, just to remember, one megahertz and 2.7 to 0.5 volt uh, for the alimentation. Then we have the M24LR. So this is for long range and different type of application because we have the energy harvesting output that allows to provide the extra energy that is not used for the component to uh, other components like a micro, like a sensors. And we have four 16 or 64 kilobit. Uh, like say even before, they are both pin-to-pin -pin compatible and uh, available in the same type of package. Then, of course, if you don't have an NFC phone or maybe if you need a reader or card emulation, we have um, the RX95HF for the card emulation and the CR95HF. If you go on the booth, you can go see the demonstration of both boards. This one is very suitable for what we call firmware update for the da data buffer. So um, this product, all the portfolio that we are providing, uh, you can use it in all different types of applications. 
and you can recover the benefits from the NFC because NFC is, uh, is growing up. You have uh, uh, so many phones. And as it's, uh, it's a passive component, it won't consume energy inside your applications. And it's, uh, we, uh, we are doing everything to make you, uh, the implementation as simple as possible. And uh, the cost is, uh, is very low. I let Yvonne maybe give, uh, give an idea of the price, if you, if you want to. When, when the device is good, the price uh, is not uh, a matter, but okay. The, this is a sub dollar uh, for the high end one, and this is a sub half dollar, clearly a sub, uh, you can find the price on the internet, uh, uh, even 30 euro cents for the first entry uh, of the 2K, uh, for instance. So to tell you how much, what is will be the cost for you to connect your application to, uh, uh, to, to a mobile phone, to the internet of world, uh, 